access to kill the goods and it's for a children's wear company called Woven Play. So one thing we're very known for is if we say you're going to have it, you can go about your next project and know that the flowers will be done on time. In the old days there were no machines, so the flowers instead were cut over here with a big hammer and it was cut by boom! And with heat and pressure, that flat piece is no longer flat. Now it has shape to it. And this particular flower has three different fabrics in it. So each fabric has to be starched as well. And a liquid which is no more than starch. He'll take that fabric and he'll stretch it out on these frames. So this is for Oscar de la Renta. 140 pairs of shoes. We're very proud. We're very proud. It's very hard for us. Because sometimes they'll come to us just for the show. And then they're never going to use it. It's just for, for the market. For the, to make the line look, you know, hot. Oscar has bought in a flower, he's putting 25 flowers, each flower is $50, so that's $1,250 for flowers on one bolero. In 2004, when we had a flower power era, that was during Sex in the City when the TV show was on, we shipped 900,000 flowers. Sarah Jessica, before the movie, when she was wearing, on every TV episode, she was wearing a flower on her hair, on a pocket book, on her waist. She just created a real trend. If you went to a mall or a shopping center and you walked down and you saw Calvert's or Bergdorf's or, you know, Lord & Taylor, any store you would walk past, there would be a mannequin with a flower on the hair, on the dress, on the waist. So, you know, we just couldn't make them quick enough. Just the whole idea of business has changed now. We get a lot more high-end, small quantity, custom, you know, the Carolina Rara. Our problem is that the world is main, mainly producing fashion in foreign, in China and in India and, you know, La La Land. You know, they'll make the first samples here, even Marquesa and, you know, high-end companies. And then they'll do production quantities in China. This is the most popular style. It's the camellia. It's probably popular because Chanel made it popular. This was their hand dyed lace, and the leaves are all individually wired so they could be moved up or moved back. You know, it's a simple, it's an odd shaped petal as it is, but we're off centering it. If you notice, the flower is not, not symmetrical.